Welcome back to California Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by Debbie Peterson. She is the mayor of Grover Beach and so many exciting things happening mm -hmm. in Grover. One really exciting project, 30 years in the making, I can't That's believe right. it. Tell us about the Grover Beach Lodge. You're right, it's been 30 years. Unbelievable. And, uh, it's a joint authority between state parks and Pacifica Hotels. Nice. Unique, I don't think that's ever been done before. Nice. At least not in California. Right, right. <laughs> and of course, the city yeah. of Grover Beach. And of course, the city of Grover right. Beach, yes. And uh, we're, we're anticipating huge economic impact with that one and with another one that will be breaking ground next month. So let's talk about this uh, Grover Beach Lodge because that's the one, mm -hmm. like you said, that's taken so long to put into the pipeline, 30 years. Finally, the Coastal Commission has approved it. It sounds like, Mayor, it's going to be absolutely majestic. We're thrilled about it, yeah. And, you know, because we've partnered with state parks and right. Pacifica Hotels have given us a representative who's an environmentalist by training, it's going to be really environmentally sympathetic. And that's an understatement. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the yeah. first California Coastal Lead Silver Hotel. Yes. Which says a lot. Yes. It's going to have five acres of public amenities. And what's even more inspiring is that Pacifica, without any mandate, will be engaging in restoration of dunes. That's right. Not required, yes. not no. mitigation. No, no. Tell us about that. Well, I think there are about four acres of dunes that they're going to restore on site and right around the site. And then they'll also be restoring Meadow Creek, which is pretty well desecrated. How did you do this? I mean, it's <laughs> really remarkable. I know it's just 30 years in the making, but what came together? Obviously, this is a moment in time. Right. And, you know, the city's had the vision for 30 years. Right. That's when they started changing the local plan. I see. And the state parks had to change their plan because the land belongs to them. Ah. So it's been a huge process that the city has been behind for all these years. And what about the Coastal Commission? I mean, to get them to move, that, that's quite yeah. a feat. Well, I think we meet their, their parameters. We're providing affordable access to the beach. Ah. Uh, the one area where we they didn't meet our parameters was we really wanted to have an equestrian center on the south side at the trailhead where the okay. equestrians access the beach. But ultimately that was denied or it, were you able to get to a compromise? They want us to put it on our parking lot with the hotel, which isn't a good use. It's not right. safe. So we're looking at alternatives. Okay, so yeah. you're moving forward. We'll fix forward. it. We'll figure it out. But here's mm -hmm. the good news as well. Although San Luis Obispo County has done well, relatively speaking, during mm -hmm. the recession, it's always good to see that projects, while environmentally friendly, will also create great economic impacts. Yes. And this is one. And it'll be great for the airport, too. Right. And we're looking at about 50, 14 to $15 million a year of economic impact. We're looking at, between the two hotels, about 400 construction jobs. That is... And after that, over probably two to 300 permanent jobs. That's really... That's a lot. Yes. I mean, that that yeah. really is, and it all mm -hmm. adds up. And what do you expect it will bring to Grover, which, you know, is always looking to bounce back a little mm -hmm. bit? You bet. Yeah. Well, of course, the you know the tax income will be very helpful to us, but it'll do a lot for spinoff businesses too. There'll be, if you think about it, if you've got a conference center that's one of the biggest between Santa Barbara and Monterey, and right. probably really the only or close to the only of its type in the county, <coughs> that's going to have huge impact for uh, local businesses. And think so, about wedding planners, right? No doubt. So, right. So, are you working now to create those catalytic consequences? Yes, we're working with the chambers and the local business. Uh, organizations to do and that. how's the yeah. chamber doing, I find my ask. I know you're now a, a unified chamber between Grover and Arroyo. How's it's that working out? It's doing so well. Their chief executive is doing such a great job. They've put up new new uh, poles in the city so we can hang signs to celebrate right. our Stone Soup Festival, and they've done a great job for us. And you're now, mm -hmm. what, six, seven, eight months into your mayorship? Uh, yeah, and? six months. And I love it. I'm having a great time. I haven't had this much fun in years. You're kidding. I'm loving it. I love yeah. it. Okay, so we expect the project Grant, uh, Grover Beach Lodge to open uh, two, three years? Two to three years. Terrific. Congratulations. Yeah. Her Thank name you. is Debbie Peterson. She's the mayor of Grover Beach. My name is Brad Palmer. Thanks for watching California Edition. We're going to send you back to HLN.